It's Lynn Smythe from the Creative Cottage. I hope you're all having a great day. Today's video is going to be short and sweet. I went back to one of my favorite thrift stores. Well, not really a thrift store. It's more, it's a store where people drop off um, mostly uh, like art supplies, craft supplies, office supplies that they no longer need. Uh, so this is more like a recycling or a repurposed store. Um, they do have some thrift store stuff, but you'll never find clothing there or anything. They have a little bit of jewelry. Um, I'm not showing you the majority of what I got there today. They sell by the bin. If you watched one of my other videos, um, I showed you what I got from one of the $5 bins. Today, I actually got a $10 bin because I had loads of sewing fabric and I put together a sewing bundle already. It's got some buttons and some sewing notions and loads of fabric. Um, figured that wouldn't be too easy to, uh, too interesting to look at. So the other section they have in this store is by the piece. So, um, but it's very reasonably priced, all like from a quarter to a dollar or two per piece. So that's what I'm going to go through today. Um, oh, actually I do have a couple of things from the bin. I'll just show you really quickly. So I'm always looking for boxes. I like to lot up my costume jewelry in like 10 to 30 pieces. And I know this is like an old candy box, but um, I've been having good luck selling pink themed jewelry, especially now with a new Barbie movie out. I think I have had been selling Barbie core themed items for a while now, and it's probably really going to go crazy now the Barbie movie's out. So I probably paid about... Hmm, 10 cents for this and I'll just fill it up with jewelry and um, once I've got it filled up I'll do an unboxing video and then I'll offer it all for sale on my eBay store. So I always like getting a deal on containers um, and like I said they don't usually have that much clothing. I did find a couple of scarves in the bin section. So I got these two scars, Infinity scars. I think it's Rayon. Um, it's by the same company. But like, again, I paid like 10 cents. So I've got this one. It's kind of this bright floral pattern. Let's see if I can find the tag. Hmm. Here it is. Mm. Polyester distributed by... Greenbrier International. Never heard of them, so I'll do a Google Lens, but, you know, for paying $0.10 cents for that, I could offer it for sale for like $10, $12. And by the same company, I found this one. I thought this one was really cute. Same deal. It's like this kind of rayon chiffon, but it's a bee and floral print. I mean, 10 cents, can't go wrong. Uh, the main reason I went to this store today was I, was I needed some office supplies, and I know they always have a lot of office supplies in stock, so I went there and they had brand new file folders, manila folders, pads of paper. Um, I got a bunch of stuff like that to better organize my stuff, my office area, so I'm not going to show most of that on this video because mm, office supplies, boring, right? But I did get one of these. I think, what do they call these? Like a banker's box or something or a mini banker's box. You might put paperwork or index cards. And um, I'm going to put all my sterling silver jewelry in here. I don't get a lot of sterling silver and gemstone jewelry. Um, so just to make it easier for me to find when I sell it, I'll have this nice case. So I don't have to go do digging in all my doors, drawers and bins. Again, I paid about $0.10 cents for that. And now I think everything I got was in the buy the piece lot. So I got these cute little bags, a pack of six for only 50 cents. Um, when my customers order more than one or two items, I'll put everything in individual plastic bags. But then I like to put it in some sort of gift bag. So I thought that was cute. Six for 50 cents. This is funny. I don't particularly like the money sign, but when uh, my customers order more things, like when they are ordering four or five, 
probably up to 10 or 12 items. Again, I'll put it in the individual bags. And then I like to put everything in the bigger bag. So I had some organzo and muslin bags that I got from a jewelry display house. Um, probably paid pretty penny for them. This was a pack of 10 for $2. So I'm okay with it having the money sign. I mean, when I pack it up, I'll have it so the customer will see this when they end through the package. But, you know, it's all about recycled, recycling stuff. And this stuff is actually new, so keeping it out of the landfill. And then I got two packs of boxes, um, little rectangular boxes, eight per bag, 75 cents per bag. And they had a third bag and I don't know why I didn't get the last bag. Maybe I just didn't want to seem like I was being a piggy and buying everything. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if they have a limit. Um, I actually don't know if these have um, cotton lining or let's see. Yep. So $1.50 for 16 of them. That's another thing when like people order a piece of the sterling jewelry from me, I will put it in the box like that. Because, you know, they're paying a little bit more. And I have that organized one. So, so far, um, I made up pretty good with office supplies and, you know, shipping and packing supplies. And then I found this huge lot of tissue paper for $1.50. Um, it's like Christmas in July. I don't really care that it's Christmas colors. I think it's red, green, and kind of off-white. It's a uh, hundred pieces of tissue paper for only a dollar fifty. I can't even get it that cheap in the dollar store. Um, so I go through loads and loads of tissue paper again, trying to recycle stuff, keep stuff from going into the landfill, and also saving myself money. So I will definitely use Christmas themed paper in the summer. I'm fine with that. Um, and I buy a lot of jewelry boxes, and like I said, I just bought that pink box I got in the bin section for $0.10. Cents. Then I found this box in the buy the piece section for $3. Again, I'll, this, I'll put fill this up with jewelry, and I'll do like a grandma's jewelry lot. I can fit quite a bit in here. And this is a really nice box. It looks in pretty good shape. Velvet lined. Um, I had pretty good luck selling. I sold bundles like this before. Grandma's jewelry box and fill it up with vintage costume jewelry. Um, this should fit in a medium sized flat right box. I mean, it is bulky and heavy. But once I fill it with jewelry, getting a pretty good deal. Then the rest of what I'm going to show you is the by the piece section has a small section of costume jewelry. But they also have jewelry making supplies. So got this little container of blue glass beads, 75 cents. Because they do make some beaded jewelry. And I love these. These are the lampwork glass beads. Seems like the wedding cake beads. I don't know, it's like amethyst green and blue. Huge package, three dollars. It can make loads of pieces. In fact, let me show you the necklace I'm wearing now. So a lot of these uh, costume jewelry bundles, these mixed jewelry locks that I get, you're always at the bottom, you're finding like, it's oftentimes broken pieces or loose beads or stretchy cord bracelets where the elastic is wearing out. And so I'll just collect the pieces and restring them. So like I made this one, I had this, uh, is a uh, cherry quartz donut. I found that in a gemstone lot. And then I had these seed beads and glass beads from, well, that's some rose quartz. And these are some vintage glass beads. And that's some copper spacers. Nice gold tone clasp. So just simple bead stringing, but um, something a little different besides just selling costume jewelry. I used to have my own bead store. Years and years ago, so I thought, hey, you know, I should be making some of this jewelry, not just 
keeping the loose pieces parts and the broken bits to sell in craft slots, I can actually use it in my own craft pieces. Um, I got this little card of three silver tone with pink rhinestone buttons. I thought that was real cute. Blue moon beads. So, well, I thought they were buttons, but they don't, do they have the shank? Mm. Yeah, sometimes I use buttons as clasps, so I'll use these some one way or the other. I've got lots of pink beads. I just thought that was nice with the rhinestones. Um, and then this uh, particular store, unless otherwise marked, all the jewelry is a dollar each. So paid a dollar for this bracelet. It's like old antique gold tone, looks like leaves. And the reason I got it, it's Leah Sophia. So paid a dollar. I could probably list this for, well, I'll do a Google, um, the Google lens to see if it pops up. But off the top of my head, I'll probably list this for 20 or $25. And again, most of my items that I sell on eBay, I do buy it now or best offer. So I leave some wiggle room in there instead of saying, oh, it's $12 and then people making me an offer. I'd rather list it at 20 or $25 and then people can make me an offer. Um, this is Moon Glow Lucite. If you saw my other video, the last time I went to this store, I got a pink, uh, like a bubblegum pink and a cranberry red moon glow bracelets that I sold in a pink jewelry set. And today I found this kind of gunmetal color. Hmm, I have to see. I think it's just dirty. Not scratch. Yeah, it's dirty. Not scratched. Let's clean that up. So I'll put that in a lot with other jewelry. Again, paid a dollar for that. And then I got this little wooden shaker box for a dollar. They had a whole shelf full of them, but again, I didn't want to be piggy and buy them all and didn't know if I'd need to use them all. Um, is this one missing the rhinestone? Hmm. Let's see if I can fix that. And so this one said is on a card $2 instead of the dollar. I thought that was a cool pin, uh, kind of yellow gold metallic leaf with a center line of green rhinestones. Here's another one I paid $2. A kind of gold tone, copper and silver tone metallic leaf pin. Thought that was interesting. Look how they use these old timey library cards to attach them and then put the price on. And it must be in the theme. Somebody just must have donated their whole collection of leaf jewelry. Another leaf brooch, two dollars. Kind of um, that metal. Yeah, I guess it's matte black metal with this wonderful rhinestone kind of veins. I thought that was just spectacular. Really like that. Yeah. yeah. What else did I get? This is just a strand of Unikite chips. I'll either um, keep this and put this in my jewelry making stash or if I get enough kind of gemstone chip necklaces, I'll offer it in a bundle. But I thought a dollar is a very good price. Can't pass that up and I really like Unikite. If you saw my last video on this store, I found a pair, a uh, strand of freshwater pearls. Paid three dollars for. Them. Here's another strand. This was blue dyed pearls, but it's freshwater pearls. They're they're gritty. These aren't glass pearls or plastic pearls. And does this have a sterling clasp? The other one had a sterling clasp. I don't think this one is sterling. I think it's just. And this, 
I don't think it's sterling. I think it's a silver tone. Kind of like a Brighton inspired or Brighton style. $3. I sell a lot of this chunky silver tone jewelry. I'll have to look at it closer to see if it has any maker's mark, but I just thought that was cool. This is nothing. I don't know. It's just plastic, but I thought it was kind of interesting looking. Plastic or lucite. It kind of has the look of carved jade, but it's all just acrylic. But for a dollar, figure you can't go wrong in very summery colors. Here's a cute double strand bracelet, silver tone chain, and then these square um, blue glass beads. Thought that was cute. One dollar. Uh, this looks carved, but I think it's just plastic. I just thought that was fantastic. It's a bunny riding a carrot. And here's what the next strap looks like. So I thought that was great for just a dollar. Really cute. And this next one, when I saw it, originally thought it was Monet, because I have a similar necklace I just listed. But this is actually, is it gonna focus? It's Napier. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna focus. I just have to clean that up. That's a nice vintage piece. And I think I bought one of these bracelets last week. This is Oneida silver plated, not sil sterling, silver plated spoon bracelet. Um, so I paid a dollar for that and they go, I'll see them online for about, um, you know, 12 to $15. Got to finish this up. Sounds like thunder and lightning out there. So this is Chico's. Um, I don't know if that's acrylic or glass or oh, probably enamel. Yeah, because that's metal. That's enamel. Kind of blue and purple and black. Multi-strand beaded necklace. And there's the Chico's label. So for a dollar, I thought that was a great deal. And this one's just plastic or possibly um, lucite, but I thought it was cool. Very vintage looking. It says create. Peace begins with a create. That doesn't really make sense, but I'll have to do a Google ones on this to see if anything comes up. I just thought that was really unique and vintage looking. And again, $1. Can't beat that price. And then the last piece I got is actually a set I got for $3. I got the bracelet and matching necklace. And this is some sort of gemstone. Maybe some kind of agate. I'm going to have to look this up. So this might be onyx. And then some sort of really cool, cool stone. But here's the bracelet with a toggle clasp. And... Here's the necklace with a little, they call that, like an S-hook. So for $3 for a two-piece gemstone set, I thought that was fantastic. So there you go. Another trip to the my favorite recycling store. Uh, I also got a bunch of books and magazines in the $10 bin that I'm including with the bundles I put together today. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. And this is Lynn Smythe from The Creative Cottage. Bye.